I'm going to make a bet in the juvenile Phillies. But first, I want to hear your thought on a race that, uh, you know, really uh, talks about the future of the Philly division next year, the Kentucky Oaks. Uh, I've kind of put this division down a little bit uh, over the last month or two, saying no one has impressed me uh, too much. What are your thoughts on the juvenile Phillies? I think that's a fair assessment, Brian. And uh, uh, Moonshine Memories is, uh, you know, is the morning line favorite, not not a heavy morning line favorite by any means. And I think that's an indication that a lot of people feel that this is a, this is a wide open race. Um, no disrespect intended. I, I would not be surprised by any means if Moonshine Memories is the winner of the race. But I feel like this is a race where I'm going to take a little shot to uh to to beat the morning line favorite and i'm going to go with the long shot that we that i talked about in the last show i'm going to go with caledonia road coming out of the frisette um i think this is a horse that could be getting better that's my top pick my second pick is heavenly love um who i think you also like brian who just ran a tremendous race in the Alcibiades at um at keeneland and trained by uh, the Cassie team. Um, I like Heavenly Love in there a lot. And I've got Moonshine Memories in the third position. Yeah, I also have the favorite in third in here, Matt. Uh, certainly she could win and, and respect for Moonshine Memories, what she's done so far this year. But I've never been overly impressed with what she's done. I've been more impressed with, with, with Heavenly Love's last two races. One sprinting on the turf at Kentucky Downs. One going uh, two turns at Keeneland in the Alcy by 80s. Uh, Heavenly Love, I think, is the filly with the most upside in here. I like her racing style. I love the way she finished off both of those races. For those reasons, uh, she is my actually my pretty clear top pick in here. I like Heavenly Love. I'm going with another one, though, uh, another long shot, a different long shot. I wasn't as impressed with the Frisette as maybe the Champagne or maybe comparably to the other horses in this race. So I'm going to steer clear of the New York horses. Uh, P.D. Bianchi, um, yeah, I went back and watched that Del Mar, Futur uh, Del Mar debutante again. She was really finishing up full of run uh, when Moonshine Memories had things more her own way. And uh, I think this time we're going to get more pace than we saw in the Chandelier. Uh, so I think uh, I think it's going to be a little tougher for Baffert's Philly Lauren Star, Moonshine Memories, uh, Separation of Powers uh, the, for that winner. So I think P P.D. Bianchi might be the uh, long shot to be running late. So I'm, I'm just going to throw in a little exacta box in here with my top two picks. And it should pay quite nicely if, I, if I'm lucky enough to hit it. And that would be Heavenly Love, my number one, and P.D. Bianchi, my long shot pick in the juvenile Phillies. 